you know, you've already got the vision to go. But yeah. What, what was the driving emotion that led you guys? Well, we didn't have a vision to go. Like, initially, it was like, we'll never go to Africa. I'm never, like, I'm African-American. I'm like, I'll never be able to go back to Africa. It's too much money. Who can afford that? Tell me why we raised, like, $10,000 in 24 hours. And then people, less than 24 hours. And then people were like, do you guys need more money? And I was like, uh. Ethiopian coffee is a gateway drug. The coffee plant was stolen from Africa in 1616 by two Dutch spies. Three years later, the first stolen bodies landed in Jamestown, Virginia. Who's your name? You got it, Rose? You got it. <laughs> so, I didn't set out to be the first black female roaster in Memphis. I didn't set out to do that. Our biggest thing was we want to empower the black community and let them know coffee's yours. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You have a right to ask that. In fact, you have first rights to ask that, you know. It is amazing to be a part of inspiring the next generation of black women roasters doing what they naturally were born to do, basically. We in the motherland, man. I've been trying to hold it in because I was like, I didn't know if we was going to make it through the gate, but God is good, you know what I mean? Favor ain't fair, we here, you know what I mean? Like, yeesh! He's saying he's so happy to see a black person, asking you to encourage African Americans to come. He said, you're my brother. For them to say like, thank you for coming, like one brother said, what a be here at which means like, come back to your country. He was like, come back and tell other African Americans to come back. Like, it just made everything we're doing in coffee, like if, it just, it showed us like we were doing this for a reason. This is a part of a bigger story that's bigger than us. Yo. So talking about coffee, black coffee roasters, you know, you guys are doing it here. Yeah, coffee black to Africa. Is that the name of the documentary? I don't know, like it just was kind of a bar. So we ran with it. Yeah.